It's Friday, the 2nd of September. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. And with less than two weeks to go to the Reno National Championship Air Races, it's with great sadness I have to announce that we lost Sherman Smoot, the pilot of Checkmate, the Yak-11 aircraft, in what appears to be an engine failure on takeoff from Bakersfield Shafter Minter Airfield today around 11 a.m. Here's what we know so far. The air racing community is a small, tight-knit community, and it's one that I've been proud to be a part of for many, many years. Sherman Smoot was not only a pilot that has raced there for many years in the AT6 class and the Unlimited class, he also has served and was at present the president of the Unlimited class of racing up at the Reno National Championship Air Races. The aircraft that Sherman was flying was known as Checkmate. That's the racing name of the aircraft. You can see it here on the cowling. This is a highly modified Yak-11 aircraft powered by a Pratt & Whitney 2800, 2800 cubic inch radial engine, twin row air-cooled radial engine, producing nearly 2800 horsepower, much, much more horsepower than the original seven or 800 horsepower that this engine came with stock very highly modified specifically for unlimited air racing. With the 2800 and the Sky Raider propeller and the large modifications done to the airframe, this was a very competitive aircraft capable of speeds well in excess of 450 miles an hour along the nine mile closed course of the Reno National Championship Air Races. This is the Shafter Minter airfield where the accident occurred. They were departing on runway 30 to the north as the accident occurred about a mile and a half to the northwest of the airfield. This is the airfield where a lot of these warbirds and the, do a lot of extensive modifications specifically for air racing. And it was the former home of Strega and Voodoo, some of the most famous air racers in air racing history. Initial reports indicate that this aircraft lost oil pressure shortly after takeoff. They were testing this engine for the first time after some extensive work on the airframe and engine. When the oil pressure was lost, the engine seized shortly thereafter and apparently there was an attempt to maneuver back to the runway and the aircraft stalled and spun in. Now this aircraft is a handful to fly. I've got some video of years past talking with some of the other pilots that have flown this aircraft and its unique handling characteristics. With that four-bladed Sky Raider prop and that engine in the seized position without being able to feather that prop with these short wings that have been clipped and modified for air racing, this aircraft will come down like a set of keys. Back in 2016, I had the honor of getting a very quick interview with Jay Consalve, the young F-18 pilot that flew Checkmate to a second place win at the 2016 National Championship Air Races. And he gives a quick description of what this aircraft is like to fly. Here he is, 36-year-old Jay Consalve, your rookie pilot, uh, second place unlimited gold winner in Checkmate, the yes, interesting sir. Checkmate. I'm so happy. Um, you're running a 2800 in here? Yes, sir. And you said it ran very smooth, right? It ran glass smooth. Great, great. The faster I go, the better it runs. It's just a, it's just, it's just a boss. <laughs> now, is this thing as much of a beast to fly as it looks like it is? I mean, I was no, watching it's that landing. It's, really? It's more. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse than you can imagine, huh? <laughs> It absolutely is. Really? It it's looks like it's like wrestling a gorilla, but you know what? A gorilla is fast, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And landing, that doesn't look too pleasant either. No. Nope. <laughs> sure isn't. You guys got to deal with it, man. Short wings, high, high wing loading, big engine. Yes, sir. All right. Very good, Jay. Good show. Thanks for bringing her Thank out, you. man. Happy to be here. All right. See you here. Hold on one second. Short wings, high, lo high wing loading. So the wings were chopped about four feet. The canopy's cut way down. The Sky Raider prop just barely clears the ground, and so you have to take off and land in the three-point position. You cannot rotate the aircraft up on its main wheels. They did numerous aerodynamic cleanup, cleanup on the design, including doing a boil-off cooler system to cool the oil, because it's an air-cooled engine. 
and they were working on reducing the cooling drag or the cowling drag you'll see as we come around the front of the aircraft the gap between the spinner and the cowling was several inches back here in 2016 and they were working on bringing that down to within an inch or so to get that cooling drag down to about a half a psi of pressure going through the engine and that made this tiny little airplane a giant killer 450 plus miles per hour only second place in 2016 had Sherm been able to race this aircraft this year at Reno he would have won against the current field as he was desperately trying to pass up dreadnought the big 4360 powered sea fury which he's beat before in the past that would have been the second fastest airplane at reno this year he would have taken he would have won the gold now i'll watch a little bit of this aircraft in action and, and you can see some of the characteristics i'm talking about note the low ground clearance of the large propeller Point attitude for takeoff. Hey, at least one red and white aircraft. Coming around the pylons. in third and fourth. Now check out the landing. Again, very difficult with no visibility. High wing loading and have to get it in a three-point position to avoid dinging the propeller on landing have to touch a down tailwheel first. Very fast. Very fast touchdown speed due to the high wing loading of the aircraft. There's only a handful of people that understand the thrill of air racing and the hazards of air racing. Sherm, Sherman Smoot understood this better than anybody. He's been air racing for years. He's the unlimited class president. He's going to be sorely missed. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. See you here and see you at the Reno National Championship Air Races 2022.